our goal is to do for uncertainty what Arabic numerals did for numbers. Sounds appropriately bombastic. Uh, but actually, mathematically, it's sort of what we've done. Very basically, we represent uncertainties as arrays of realizations. That is, the way we would represent rolling a die would be to roll it 10,000 times and store it as auditable data. Now, that's fantastic because you can take these arrays and you can add them together row by row to see what happens under, say, 1,000 or 10,000 scenarios. Um, unlike the ordinary way that people represent uncertainties, which is like this. And uh, so what can you do with these? They, they, have, they are useful for two things. Number one, they're good coasters. In fact, they are coasters. But number two, the sum of averages is the average of, of the sum. That's a, an important thing. That's why people use averages so much. So if I were to roll, and I'm going to prove this to you, okay, that, that averages are additive. So if I were to roll a pair of dice 10,000 times, take my word for it, you know, the average would be 7 if I added them together. Okay? Now what I'd like you all to do is grab your pair of dice and flip them, and let's see what you get. <laughs> okay, Shane, got to add them together. You got 7. Anyone else? Seven. So th well, there's the proof. So the sum of the averages is the average of the sum. But that's about all they're good for. You can't tell me, for example, the chance that you're going to get a number greater than three, you know, when you, when you flip two flat dice. In fact, everything is really about estimating chances. Forget probability distribution. What, it has way too many syllables. Okay? All you have to do is write some goal in your spreadsheet. Oh, I want profit of at least a million dollars. And then I'll tell you the chance you'll achieve your goal. Oh, and you can change your goal to whatever you want. Whatever you change it to, I'll tell you the chance of achieving your goal. No probability distributions here, though. Okay, that actually was the definition of a probability. But shh, we don't have to tell people. 